Antelope Valley and beyond. I'm Marva Greenleaf, AV Voice. And my favorite, favorite pastime is to share heart to heart with others who strive for the ideal, why we deal with the real. With me today is Stacy Benjamin. Stacy is Gerald Hancock's mother. Yep. And we are lifting each other up beyond our wildest dreams right now, aren't we? We are. So you tell me, Stacy, what's on your horizon right now? Well, right now I'm just getting through the next few months on the house that we're working on for Gerald. And we've had a lot of different things going on, getting ready to go, packing up the family, so it's been keeping us incredibly busy. So Gerald has been home. He's been a recovering veteran for how many years now? Almost seven. May 29th will be seven years. And that's right, that's next month. Yeah. May 29th, and what a different seven years makes. Absolutely. And for Gerald, one of the things, and this is actually the first year I haven't really noticed it, is his alive day and his birthday are the same day. So normally up until this year, we've had a few months before his birthday where we see a change in him and we say we're getting close to his alive day slash birthday. So he doesn't get to differentiate the two, you know, and have a celebration of his birthday. It's all the same. But on the other hand, it's kind of cool, you know? Well, you know, it deepens us, seasons us, gives us skills we never knew we had. Absolutely. And if we can truly tap into one another's hope, promise, resilience, creativity, acceptance, forgiveness, to name a few. Stacey. Absolutely. That's all part of those seven years. Yes, because there's a, there's a lot of dynamics in being a caregiver to your son. He wants to, of course, not have his mom around all the time. You know but what I mean? He's a grown man with exactly. children of his, he's a 10 year old. So it's like a, it's a, it's a whole, thing to try to like have my boundary where I want to be like this is my baby and he's this and this but also let him be his own man and person mm -hmm. which the house and the things that it will offer to make his life easier will make him be able to be more independent mm -hmm. so it's something that we've worked on for seven years we've had ups we've had downs but I think we handle it all pretty well mm -hmm. and prior to this I worked in an office my whole life I've never been around anyone disabled you know, like on a day-to-day -day basis, and it was all very new to me. It's a master's class, Stacy. Absolutely. Uh, just restoring each and every one of us through our walks of life. It's a full-time job, no matter what our story is. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and you just come to a point where, you know, it's, it's weird when you come to this point, but for me, I used to be able, I would argue everything out and have to be have the last word if it was something I truly believed in. You were probably right a lot. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I've so, Most of I've us so, are. I've just so changed from that. Yeah. I have so changed from that. Yeah. And I that, that's, that's something I like about being older. You know, I'm like way more mellow and I like that. Yes. I like that. Well, I don't have to be right. It's not even being right, it's being willing. It is. It's the willingness and to just wake up and do it again another day. See, Stacy, this is what I've come to know. The wise men follow our lead. That's what they do. So I start with the queen bee, because <laughs> you get the daily in ins and outs of the, the wounded warrior. And the entire family. The entire family, because Joe has two children. He has his 10-year-old Julius and his daughter. And his sisters. And, and his everybody, sisters. to some degree, experiences a kind of PTSD, I would say, over it. Yes. Everybody from his sister who was just turned 18 at the time. Yes. You know, it affected everybody. Yes, it's a, it's, it really is an avalanche, an earthquake, a tornado, it's a devastation, a, a catastrophe. And until you're in it, you just are, are it's a master's class. Mm -hmm. And then the greatest gift we women especially bring is our happy hearts and our willing spirits. But would you take me back to how this unfolded into this amazing hammock of support. And so last year, after he was at Pride of the Nation, he was invited to come and speak to Jamie's class. And he spoke to the class, and Jamie said, and that the kids wanted to do something for Gerald, and she said, what do you want to do? And they said, build him a house. And it's such a unique snowball since there. It's such a unique circumstances because his needs are unique, and his determination is, is easily recognizable with wanting to be father to his children and as independent as he can possibly be. It's humbling. 
for each and every one of us, we get to taste this thing called humble pie. Uh, but the beauty is that we discover we're not in it alone. Exactly. We have a great community here that I wouldn't want to be any place else. Thank you. And I fell in love with the Antelope Valley too. Me too. And I it, love it here. It truly is a love affair. The climate, the people, the community. Some of us are just desert wildflowers. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> There's two sitting right here. So, my darling Stacy, now what about, I call her commander, Nicole Skinner, who's the, the young one mm -hmm. who took oath on, and, um, and then I'm certain she has just collected the invigorating youth energy. She is great, and she has... She has a great story, a great life story. She's overcome a lot. She's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that all this is really just going to help bump her up in her future because she's going to go places. You know, wherever I go, I just want to see who's participating in my successful day. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. And then it's, it's infectious, contagious. And we find, I find that my cup is full. And my abundance runs over. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden, it, um, it was worth every tear. What do you think? Yep. And we have, we, have some, we have some rough days in there. We sure do. But I think we're handling it all really well. We sure do. Well, it gets easier with practice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's true. Well, there is laughter, you know, and I just got to the point where the sorrow was so all-consuming and that I had to consciously and, and purposefully, intently choose tears of joy, trade my tears of sorrow for tears of joy, and recognize those that are right, and be and be grateful for things. Exactly. For what is left? Exactly. Gerald's first um, Mother's Day home. Mm. He came over to my house, and he was sitting at the table, and I just cried. I was just like, "There's so much going on." But my son is here, he's at the table, and I'm, I'm blessed, you know? I can talk to him. Yep. I can look in his eyes. Yep. Yes, that's how we boil it down to the essence of, I see you, I want to see you, I want to know you. I love that we can just blossom one another well right here. And, um, and grief just comes in all kinds of situations. You know, death is just one sort of grief. Life every decade. It just seems if you're choosing love, there's gonna be a if there's a hello, there's a goodbye. And I don't waste a minute in the negativity for that reason alone. That's a, that's my goal. Yeah. It is. My goal is to keep positive. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well for me. I've, I had a lot of years I was negative. I've been through a lot of my life, and I'm happy with looking at things on a bright side. Mm -hmm. So together, you're going to see the two of us at the Lieutenant Dan Band's concert. The best Mother Day gift I could be given. So May 10th on a Saturday night at the Jet Hawk Stadium, you're going to be around, surrounded by all of the angels right here in the Antelope Valley. Get your tickets. Stacy and I are going to be on site. Gerald's going to be on site. Gary Sinise, well, it doesn't really. Well, yeah, he's a part of the band. He's going to yeah. be on site. Um, the groundbreaking for Gerald's home is next week. Yes. May 6th. May 6th it is. It's going to be so awesome when Gerald has his house and he can roll out and roll over to our house. Everything has kind of been a struggle to this point, but I feel blessed. That's what I, one thing I do want to say. We have our mobile homes. We're across the street from each other. Things could be definitely be worse. This is just going to make everybody's life easier. Going to keep us all shining right here in the Antelope Valley. Stacy. my heart is yours, sweetheart. Thanks for having me. Oh, until the next time. <laughs> we are great together.